Regardless of what people do in life, there is always a need to take a step back and look for peace and tranquility. But for those who live a disciplined life of fighting for justice every day, that peace and tranquility can be hard to find. Emergency transmission from Mother Venus number 131. A woman on board is going into labor. They're requesting that she be taken to a medical facility on the nearest planet. Right, understood. Let's get the formal hot platoon on this. On the double. We've just received word from the Alboreal Express currently traveling past the Veil Nebula. They're reporting that a troop of drunken performers is engaging in acts of disorderly conduct, sir. <sighs> Send out the Arcturus platoon now. Emergency transmission. Creatures have woven a web over an orbit ring. Orion Express went right through it. The web got into the train. It's everywhere. Passengers inhaled it. It's causing allergic reactions, sir. Dispatch Ogle Platoon at once. Oh, don't tell me he won again. <laughs> You're quite a player, Manabu. No, not really. It's just a game. I don't know why you're getting so serious. Uh, You'd think that we were playing for money. Uh, sorry. I've only been losing because I'm playing for fun. If you want to play serious, let's do uh, it. Okay. <laughs> I didn't want you to pick that one, Louise. Really. Oh, you know, I haven't finished packing yet. Sit down. This isn't over. Uh, yes, ma'am. Sitting down. <clears throat> Come on, Silver. Show him what a real man can do. What are you waiting for? Take him down! I can't wait to see the look on your face when I break your arm, Bruce. Why don't you go ahead and give up now? Maybe if you had a tractor and a winch, you could pull this arm over. But all I see is you, Silver. And your skinny butt isn't gonna cut the mustard. Oh, yeah? Bring it, Blondie! Let's see. One packed lunch? Why not? Nice day for a trip, huh? And would you like a drink with that? It's free. Only if you tell me when you're off. Right, so no drink. Anything else? Yeah, are you free tonight? Would you like dessert with that? I can't get a break uh, with these cards! No. They're cursed! No one can lose that many I times knew she'd blow. Run. Yep, so she was showing all the classic signs. What a sore loser. Goodness. About. You uh, took uh, all the good luck and left me nothing but bad! How dare you! <laughs> Hey, come on, guys, stop that. That's enough. Can't you be quiet? There are other people on this train, you know? Do you want me to get the SDF in here? Uh, oh, sorry. sorry. Can't people just play cards? What's his deal? Hmm. This younger generation's come to the dogs. I thought you'd like to know the last stop's coming up. The planet Karkala. It's known for its hot springs. Look there. Amazing. It's beautiful. Hmm? <sighs> Would you mind if I burned these cards?
Well, Minabu? Huh? This place is lovely, don't you think? Uh... <laughs> Maras Family Spa. Awesome. Your parents' place looks really great, Captain. Yeah, if you like old things. So, Captain, does this place have a hot tub? Of course it does, Jose. Hello. Welcome to our humble spa. We didn't know our son was nice enough to have friends. You must all be exhausted. Please come in. Thank, Thank you, you so much. much. It's our pleasure. Well, let's get out of the cold. Let's go, Mr. Yuuki. What's the hold up? Uh, uh, yeah, right. <gasps> where's that hot tub, boss? Huh? Well, now, where'd you come from? Captain, the hot hey tub... Hey there, Shirobata. Glad to see me? Ooh, you haven't changed a bit. Unlike Mom and Dad, who have that great vintage look. You'd think you were describing an automobile, son. You're not a kid anymore. When did you forget how to talk to your parents? Where's the respect? In my bag? Ah, oh, come on, Pop, loosen up. You still look young for, you know, an old man. Hey, Captain, how about that hot tub? Oh, I haven't forgotten about you. At least somebody here missed me. Captain! Come on, where's the hot tub? Tell him it's hot springs. And if bubbles start coming up while he's in there, stay clear. It could be toxic. Look at that. Oh, wow. It's breathtaking. This is what we came here for, isn't it? Well, don't forget about the food and drinks. Not to mention the hot springs, right? Don't take this the wrong way, but doesn't it sound like they share the same brain? What are we waiting for? I'm ready for a good sweat. Tennis, anyone? Should I play the way I normally do, or just let them win? Let's win this one, Manabu! Uh, sure thing. Sure thing. What a jerk. He thinks he's perfect at everything. Come on, serve it! Here it comes, guys! <laughs> Manabu! Huh? Oh! Are you okay? I'm fine. Fifteen, love. Here goes. <laughs> 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 gotcha! Figures. Game, set, and match. Good game. You too. <laughs> Thanks for making me sweat, you guys. <sighs> they were all over him. <laughs> Why don't you join us, Louise? What do you say? You want to play a little tennis with some real men? Sure. Where are they? Oh, she's dogs! Dog <laughs> You're really too cute for words, you silly kitty cat. <laughs> You're just so cute, aren't you? You're just the cutest thing in the universe. You know it's true, don't you? Oh, sorry. For what? My son's vulgar behavior. I hope his childish antics aren't bothering you, dear. Don't worry, I've seen worse. You're just so cute. I want to eat you up. <laughs> <sighs> it's nice, don't you think? Oh, yeah, nice. You look serious, Captain. That's not good. Hey, why don't we go to a tavern? What do you say? We'll take a soak, then we can hit the streets. I know a place that's crawling with girls. A nice hot soak and a night on the town. Bruce, what do you think? Sounds good. Hey, Yuuki. Huh? We're going to the spa. Be there in a minute. Huh? You again? Oh, you're not Maras's cat. Tora, I've been looking for you everywhere. <sighs> You little rascal, you love making me worry, don't you? This cat has always been a curious one. Whenever we come to a new place, Tora likes to do a little exploring without me. Ah, I guess he's a naughty boy. Hmm. He's a rude one, isn't he, Tora? Tora is a female, young man. Oh, sorry, I didn't know. Maybe you should try to get in touch with your feminine side. Uh, what's that supposed to mean? Mm. Luis, can we ask you a question? Huh? What's really going on between you two? Between who? Don't play innocent. Between you and Manabu. Oh, him. There's nothing. We're just shipmates and that's all there is to it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What? It's the truth. 
So then I guess you won't mind if I'm interested in the Nabu. Go ahead. He's not my type, I... Now, now. Don't tease her like that, girls. But, Captain, I'm serious about Manabu. <sighs> hey, Manabu, do you want to race? The first one to the other side of the pool is the winner. But you have to do it all underwater. Ready? Go! Hey, that's not fair! <sighs> We're under attack. Captain, it's not what you think! Nice, kid. That was huge. So's the knot on my head. Hey, check this out. Oh, not another race. No, it's the fresh snow. It's like a blank canvas waiting for us to paint it. Well, let me guess, yellow? That's nasty. That would be a desecration. I'm talking about making a snow angel, Manabu. Hey, knock yourself out, pal. Oh, it looks a lot better if two people do it. Age before beauty. I thought we came here to relax and have some fun. <laughs> David, are you okay? Yeah, but snow was a lot softer when I was a kid. It sounded solid, like a rock. Really? Oh, you're right. He knocked his head. Don't worry, he'll be fine. <laughs> Don't forget, he's part of the STF. It'll take a lot more than that to keep him down. Uh. Hey, Louise? Yes, ma'am? I know it's none of my business, hmm? but are you ever going to tell him how you really feel about him? What? Uh, what do you mean? You're not fooling me, Louise. I think you should tell him how you really feel. If you wait for someone as shy as Manabu to speak up, you might end up waiting forever. Loving someone from afar is a very noble thing, but sometimes unspoken love starts to fade away. Just keep that in mind and do what your heart tells you to do. Some table tennis. What do you say? You're wasting your time, boys. It's never gonna happen. Oh, dog again! SDF talent show? Tis a far, far better thing I do now than I have ever done before. Adieu, adieu. Farewell, my friends. Parting is such sweet sorrow. Like a song that never ends, I'll be with you. <laughs> <laughs> So, why the long face, partner? Huh? I don't know. I guess something just doesn't seem right to me. It's like everybody's forgotten about work all of a sudden. But for all we know, at this very moment, something terrible might be happening somewhere along the orbit routes of the railways. Pretty view here, isn't it, Yuki? Uh, the air is so fresh here. You don't really even see your breath. That's because the air is so crisp and clean. You're right. I never noticed that. But maybe it's because it's so cold. Don't think about it. Just enjoy it. What about you, Bruce? Are you enjoying yourself? What? Doesn't it look like I'm having fun? Not really. If you ask me, you look bored to tears. So am I right? <laughs> 
Well, sometimes even the truth is best left untold. <laughs> <laughs> Was gonna die. <coughs> I really like this place. It's very peaceful. You're kidding, right? No, not at all. Well, to me, this is the most boring place in the universe. Sorry to hear that. Yeah, that's the reason I left here. If you like it, why don't you move here? Now, why would I want to move here all by myself? Well, I'd be out here, too. At the most boring place in the universe? I don't mean now. Maybe when we're a little older. You'd be a bear if you were bored. I think we could keep ourselves occupied. She's gone! This is terrible! Just terrible! What's all the commotion about? It's Tora, my cat. I can't find her. Since when? I'm not sure. I just now noticed she was missing. It's below zero. If she's out there too long, she could freeze to death. Make Serious platoon, platoon. Let's, let's move! move. Torches are lit. Roger, lighting back torches. Communication system ready. Assigning search grids. Equipment check. Anoraks check. Boots and snowshoes check. Synchronized radios. Sirius platoon. Vega platoon. Gear up and prepare to depart. There's not much time, troops. Let's look sharp. Vega platoon is ready for search. Stand by for coordinates. Isn't this a bit much? We're members of the SDF. There's no such thing as too much when a life's in danger. All right. Go, SDF! You can do it! I know you can! Serious Platoon, let's move out! Vega Platoon, move out! Kyoji, what's going on? It seems that Tora's missing. I saw Tora earlier. Yes, she was by the hot springs with Shirabaya. Hmm? Why didn't you say something? Tora! Huh? <laughs> what's the matter? Did something happen? Uh, no, we thought Tora was lost. Tora? She's been here the whole time. We've become good friends. They've been keeping me company. They're very sweet cats. Huh? Hey, come on! That's enough! <laughs> sure is some nice scenery here. I know. I don't think I'll be able to sleep after that. It is our last night. Maybe we should have some fun since we're all still awake. Let's party! We can start out by taking a late night dip in the hot springs. Yeah! Huh? <laughs> um, Captain? Are you sure about that? Are you okay over there? Well, son, is there something you'd like to tell your mother and I? I don't think so, Dad. Oh, yeah, thanks for having us. No, that's not it. He's <laughs> clueless. <laughs> now, wait, that's not going to happen. At least not for a few more years, anyway. Come on, Captain! Trust me, you'll be the first to know. I think she's going to make a fine landlady someday. 
I hope. She's too good for him, if you ask me. Tora, are you sure this is what you want to do? All right, we're ready! Smile, everyone. Let's make this one a keeper. Okay, what station are we going back to? Destiny! <laughs> All right! True relaxation often comes in short, fleeting moments. Not long after it arrives, it usually departs. But even though these times of peace are brief, they leave an indelible imprint on our hearts. Space Panzer Grenadiers, the elite troop that my brother used to belong to, asked me to join their platoon. But is taking a big step in my career worth leaving everything that I care about? See you next time on the Railways. Oh
Schneider! Shame on all of you. Is that the best you've got? Uh, no, sir. If you can't manage this level of field simulation, you should pack up and leave. We're SPG, Space Panzer Grenadiers, not the SDF. Now let's try it again. Yes, yes sir. must make our way along the road called life. And when that road eventually comes to a fork, we must rely on instinct to make a choice and decide which way to go. You've enrolled me in the SPG training program? But sir, why me? It's to improve the interaction between our two outfits, so we can learn from each other. Well, that's the official version anyway. If you ask me, they're doing it to look for some new recruits, so don't hold back. Right. You won't be going in alone. Schneider from Vega Platoon and I from Spica Platoon have both been selected to accompany you. It should be an awesome experience. These guys are the most elite fighters in the galaxy. The SPG. Mamoru was a member when he died. Manabu, there's a reason I met you here alone. I want to talk to you about something away from the others. Away from the others? But why? So, you think the SPG wants Manabu? Really? Are you sure about that? That's what I heard through the grapevine. It's the unofficial buzz. I'm sure that once he passes the training, the Space Panzer Grenadiers will make a formal announcement. Well, I'm sure Captain Maras has told Manabu all about this by now. <laughs> but why Captain Maras? Oh, wait a second. I think I know. It's Captain Johansson. He was Maras' senior officer way back at training camp. And he's the one that would make the call. Mm-hmm. From what I hear, the SPG has had its eye on Manabu for some time now. I think it's wonderful. One of our very own is being recruited by the SPG. Manabu won't join the SPG. Well, it doesn't make any sense, does it? Even my scores were higher than his were. Besides, just think about it. Manabu is far too reckless and stubborn to be an SPG member, am I right? Well, am I? Manabu can be whatever he wants to be. Only he can decide which direction he wants to take. And it's up to him, not us. Uh, oh, uh, hey, Captain. I appreciate you giving me the heads up, but Maras already told me all about it earlier. It's not a done deal. You can make your decision once you've gone through all the training. I know that this is important to you. And it's important to us, too. Thanks, Captain. Look, just try to keep this in mind, Manabu. No matter what you decide, you'll be working to preserve life and to keep peace in the universe. I'm sure Captain Yuuki would say the same thing if he were here.
an enemy aircraft approaching at 8 o'clock. Uploading the escape route now. Uh, new enemy aircraft approaching your position at 2 o'clock. Four bogeys converging. No, wait a second. There are six. Your escape route's been compromised. They're everywhere. Be careful. Look out. No. No. Catch a train on foot. What's the meaning of this, cadet? You're supposed to be sleeping now. Getting the proper amount of rest is mandatory. <laughs> Sir! Sir? What is it? The SPG wants me. Captain Moras told me they do. But, sir... I need to know. Why me? Because of my dad? Because I'm Amoru's brother? You're strong-willed, much the same way he was. He persevered through all the hard training. He never complained once. I've never seen such a dedicated soldier as your brother Mamoru. He was outstanding. Mamoru... I have to stay here, brother. Not only was he a good soldier, he was a fine man. The best of the best. So tell me, what made you join the SDF? Was it out of admiration of your father and brother, or something else? That's why I joined initially, but now my reasons are different. I just want to protect people. I want them to be happy. No matter what you choose, the work will be the same. Whether it's SDF or SPG, you'll work for peace. What the SPG needs now are passionate and dedicated youths like you. Your service record speaks for itself. I know it would mean a big change in your life, so I want you to take time to weigh all your options. I'm looking forward to hearing your decision. Four hours a day on this job, and you can forget about having any kind of personal life. So why moan about it? You haven't met anyone, have you? That's the point. How can I when I'm always working? No, let it go. You love your job and you know it. Hey, boys! Hey, what's up, Kanuko? So, how about a cold one? Sure, no prob. <laughs> why, thank you. That was my last stout, Bruce, but look what I have for you! Not bad, but stout sounds better. <sighs> Tastes better, too. The perfect way to end a shift. Right, Manabu? Oh, yeah. I know how you feel, David. Things just don't seem right without Manabu around, do they? Well, I'll bet that he stays. Manabu wouldn't leave all of his friends. I'll put 5,000 apples on it, Bruce. That sounds like a sucker bet. Hey, don't give him any tips. That's not fair. Well, Bruce, what's he gonna do, stay or go? Only he knows. But my money says that he goes to the SPG. <laughs> I'm not.
not worried. I'm sure that he'll come back. Manabu would never leave his platoon and all of his friends. He's staying and that's all there is to it. But he may not. Becoming a member of the SPG would be a huge honor for anyone. Who could blame Manabu for going for it? We should be happy for him, you know? This is the opportunity of a lifetime. You're right, Louis. Conducting training tests in a magnetic storm? Only the SPG would be this extreme. If we get through in one piece, we'll be set. No screw-ups, okay, Manabu? All right. No more screw-ups. Rescue shuttle pod docked. We are now entering the 650. Request permission to begin search and rescue. This is 666. We copy. Begin search and rescue immediately. You must also restart the 650's engine and get it out of the magnetic storm. Please proceed in an orderly manner to the rescue pod. Let's move! Don't worry, you're all going to be fine! No matter what you choose, the work will be the same. Whether it's SDF or SPG, you'll work for peace. Stop worrying about it. This way. Please hurry, folks. There's nothing to be afraid of. We've got a log jam here. Please stay calm and keep moving. Let's go already, people. Get the lead out. I love it when they stop walking. That's my favorite part. That's the last one. All clear. Double check. I'll get the shuttle pod ready for takeoff. Now the only thing left to do is restart the engine. Right. I can handle that. Be careful. The sensors are detecting an anomaly. There's a sudden increase in magnetic energy levels. receiving me. Please come in. No signal. The communication link is down. Captain, all sensors are failing, sir. There's no way to know what's happening on the 650. Redirect our ship to intercept the 650 immediately. Yes, sir. What's happening? The main engine's damaged. We're losing power. She's shutting down. Switch to auxiliary. Now! The 650 is gone, Captain. It just vanished. <laughs> Manabu. Expand the search to include Area G. Monitor all frequencies. He might be trying to reach us. Yes, sir. I expect you to do your duty out there. Just be the best that you can be, Manabu. hit me. Huh? What happened? From the looks of it, I'd say that we were attacked. This is Manabu Yuki on the 650. Can anyone hear me? Please come in. Over. I'm adrift in the middle of nowhere. What do I do now? When are you gonna learn? Just calm down. Then you'll be able to figure out exactly what you need to do. Song of the engine. Thank Whitman, I'm not dead yet. Hang in there, Manabu. You can do it. I've got 5,000 riding on you. You just have to make it back, Manabu. Can you do that for me? Yes.
This is it. I don't have a choice. You can do it, Minabu. I know you can. <laughs> Thank you, Louise. It's not looking good, Captain. We've been searching for six hours and still no trace. Should we call it off, sir? Minabu! We can't just give up! He's gotta be out there somewhere! He's Manabu Yuuki of the SDF, and he's gonna make it, understand? Is that it? It's him! He's alive! Manabu here. Mission complete. <laughs> Manabu really did a great job out there. Anybody else would have been a goner for sure. The SPG would be fools not to take him after a performance like that. Don't say that. What? Oh, sorry. Well, it is an honor. Looks like I owe you 5,000 Abels. Hey, Bruce? Guess so. I'm going to miss him. Come on now. Be happy for him. My goodness. The least we can do is send him off with a smile. What does that guy think he's doing? Is he crazy? What guy? Manabu Yuuki. He's out of his mind, Bulge. He just turned down a commission with the Space Panzer Grenadiers. Manabu, at least tell me the reason for your decision. There's a lot I can still learn from the Sirius Platoon, sir. And besides... Yes? Well, someone told me that no matter what I chose, the work would be the same. Whether it's SPG or SDF. I'll still be working to uphold peace. Hmm. Manabu really said that? What a guy. This is terrible! His head's gonna be so big it won't fit through the door! And his grades aren't anywhere close to what mine are! Luis? He was already cocky enough, now he'll be impossible! Somebody needs to teach him a lesson if you ask me. I think you're right. Just a little something to put him back in his place. No, I know exactly how to handle this. Now, guys, don't be too hard on him. No, oh, of course not. Never. Sometimes even ambitious people turn down a higher position. <laughs> to these rare few, only feelings matter, not status. They realize that without the love shared between friends and a joyful outlook on life, even a promotion can be a step down. So, did you miss me? Na
るたび思い浮かべまた明日へと旅立つ Next time, we receive an emergency rescue signal from Kowloon City, one of the most dangerous places in the galaxy. Is this just a trick, or is this former enemy really trying to help us? Looks like we're about to find out. See you next time on the railways. City that is infamous for being one of the most dangerous places in the galaxy. No one dares go close to this lawless metropolis. Kowloon is also known by another name. It is often called the Labyrinth of Death. Distress signal from the city of Kowloon. It's an SDF signal requesting an emergency rescue. But that's impossible, Commander. There aren't any SDF trains on duty in that area right now, sir. Find out who's sending that signal. Dispatch Sirius Platoon. System check. Stand by for system check. Subatomic warp generator ready. The magnetic barrier generator is a go. Orbit network radar ready. Big One is now in takeoff position. Atomic boiler pressure is a go. The main circuit is now online. All energy levels ready for takeoff. The warp drive coupling is now in place. 
All systems green, Captain Bulge. Awaiting your command, sir. Let's move out. Ahead full. Listen up, Sirius Platoon. General Ivanov from the Secret Intelligence Division is coming with us on this mission. But why Secret Intelligence? That info is on a need-to-know basis. And none of you on this train need to know. Let me be clear. I'm not asking for your cooperation. I'm demanding it. Transmission of SDF signal confirmed, sir. It's definitely a rescue signal. It's coming from the southern part of Kowloon City. David, land by that signal. Never mind that. Land away from the signal. Did you hear what I said? <laughs> yes, sir. Taking her down in the southwest sector of Kowloon. Anyway, did you see the way he treated the captain? I couldn't believe it. I wanted to punch him in the face. Louise. What is it? He can hear what you're saying. <laughs> you liar, it's off. How dare you? Don't ever do that to me again. <laughs> I know exactly how you feel, Louise. That guy is definitely an SOB. But don't let your mind be distracted by your emotions while you're on duty. You can get killed that way. Right. Thanks, Bruce. I wonder what Ivanov is doing here anyway. What's so special about this mission? I don't know. But it must be serious for the Secret Intelligence Division to barge in like this. One thing's for sure. We're about to find out. It's definitely coming from here. This is the SDF Sirius Platoon. We've come to help. Is anyone in here? the same alien who invaded headquarters. Search her for explosives immediately. They're about the size of a fist. They look like large plant seeds. Find any? No, she's all clear. Hmm. If they're trapped, they'll do anything to escape. They've killed many of my subordinates. So you've had prior contact. You two kids, go outside. Make sure none of her buddies are around. You other two, stay with the alien. There's no need to show mercy if she puts up a fight, but don't kill her. I want her alive. We can't get information from a corpse. Plenty of orders, but no explanations. Hmm. <laughs> are you feeling okay? <sighs> Please, you must help us. I beg of you. Bring her in. She can plead her case to secret intelligence. Listen to me, please. My name's Liffel. I came from Asterion, the 42nd planet in the Alfred galaxy. Shut up! Come on now. If you're gonna lie, you're gonna have to do a better job than that. Or maybe you can tell me why I've never heard of a galaxy named Alfred. It doesn't exist in this universe. That's why. <sighs> please, let me show you. <laughs> this is my home. Planet Mysterian. I come from a universe that exists outside of your own. Like your universe, ours is very beautiful. 
My home planet, Asterion, is renowned for its remarkable scientific technology. A peaceful technology that was used to enhance the quality of life. Uh, mother, look up in the sky! Oh. What are they, Liffle? I don't know. They look like... battleships. Oh. <laughs> The ships were from the Alfred Galactic Empire. They threatened to destroy our planet and people. They said the only way we could stop them is if our scientists did exactly what they were told. We had no choice but to cooperate. At this very moment, my colleagues are being forced to make weapons for their empire. If they don't, their children and everything they love will be destroyed. Now, those same weapons that my colleagues are manufacturing are about to be used against you. This universe is facing the same crisis that our planet did. <gasps> you have to try to stop them. You people have armaments. We didn't. We had no choice but to surrender and do what we were told. And now we've made them great weapons. There's no way that you can defeat them in battle. Unless... <sighs> Unless you use this. This Cosmo Matrix is my invention. It can greatly amplify the strength of your weapons. That's a convincing lie you've concocted. <sighs> Don't take us for a bunch of amateurs. I know your intentions. You plan to gain our trust by giving us false information so you can study our operation and leak it back to your people. That's not true, I swear! Do you mind if I take a look at that? <sighs> hey, Captain. It does resemble a storage chip, but I can't tell without using the ship's computers. Should I return to Big One, sir? You fool! You'll do no such thing! Did it ever occur to you that they can gain access to the SDF's main computer through Big One's computer? Use your brain! But if we don't analyze the chip, how are we going to know if she's telling the truth or not? You won't! That's none of your concern. The Secret Intelligence Division will be the judge of that. If you don't believe me, you'll all die! We only have a little time left. Soon a dimension hole will open up between our universes and the invasion will begin. Then it will be too late. We refuse to be manipulated by your false information. General Ivanov, perhaps we shouldn't automatically assume that she's lying to us. When I want your advice, I'll ask for it. Captain. I'm trying to help. You can help by obeying my orders, Bulge. You must believe me! There's still a chance to save your people! I don't think the images she showed us were manipulated in any way. I wasn't able to detect any tampering or alterations. Those images prove nothing. <sighs> Why don't you believe me? There are millions of lives at stake! <sighs> trying to kill Liffle, all right. Does that mean that she's telling the truth? Well, I'd say there's two possibilities. One is that they're trying to execute Liffle because she's really trying to help us. What's the other one? They're staging this chase to make us believe she's telling the truth. Turn at the next corner and stop. Roger that. I'll buy 
buy us some time. You guys get back to Big One and prepare for emergency takeoff. I'll be there. Whoa, Bruce has his bazooka. He's serious. I'm staying with you. I'll be fine. You go on. Help them get back to Big One. Minabu, hurry up! This is all my fault. I'm sorry. Yuki, go! situation. Kowloon's teeming with aliens. Bruce was buying us time. He's still out there. Emergency takeoff green. Initiating now. Bruce, get back to big one. We're taking off. In the Cosmo Matrix, please. No, don't talk. You need to get your strength back. Promise that you won't lose it. It's your only hope. <laughs> uh, they're still after us. Take care of her. They're attacking. Arm the main battery. Prepare to intercept. Fighters are retreating. I don't like this. Direct hit! Hangar coach damaged! They're the same. All right, now it's your turn. Direct hit. No effect. Link all main batteries. Fire simultaneously. Direct hit, Captain. No effect. Enemy ship undamaged. Unless you use this, it amplifies weapon strength. It's your only hope. Captain, Liffle's Cosmo Matrix. It's the only way to fight back! Absolutely not. You're incompetent. Can't you see this is all a plot? They want us to panic and use that device so they can gain access to all our vital information. She's a terrorist spy. You're wrong! She's telling the truth! She took a bullet from me! Hmm. You are out of line! Direct hit! Second battery, coach! How far are we from the warp zone? 0.5 megameters, Captain. Big one is 65% damaged, sir! We'll never make it, please, Captain! All right, then. How dare you, Bulge! You're disobeying a director! I'm sorry, but I have to do what's best for the welfare of my crew, General. They're my responsibility. Go. Go where? To the bridge. Help me. Or we'll die. Error? Damn! Not again! What am I doing wrong? It's okay. I can help. I'll show you. Liffle! You're mad! We can't let a prisoner on the bridge! Get her out! <sighs> this is treason! You're jeopardizing the safety of our galaxy! I'll have your jobs for this! <laughs> It's 
The computer has accepted the Cosmo Matrix. Atomic boiler pressure increasing rapidly. It's in the red zone, Captain! Rotation speed reaching critical levels. Divert all energy to the main battery. Lock all gun ports on enemy ship. Turning guns! All gun ports are locked on target. All guns, open fire! It worked! Yuki! Lay her down. Help her! Uh, hello, Mother. And Joe, my sister, you've come too. Uh, Liffle, don't die! We're losing power! I can't stop it! Weapon system's down! The main circuit's offline! It's fried! They're attacking, Captain! Energy decreased by 30%! How far to the warp zone? At our current speed, 40 seconds! Divert all available power to the engine! Warp zone in 20 seconds! Engage warp engines the instant we enter! Incoming seeker missiles! It's damaged, sir! I can't enter the coordinates! Go ahead! Do it now! You're mad! Without coordinates, we can hit something and die! If we don't try, we'll die anyway! do anything to help. An opportunity will arise. We must keep trying. All I see is darkness. The lights are vanishing. No, it can't be. Shula, we must fight. It seems that destiny itself has derailed from its appointed track. The future of the universe is now careening into the darkness like a runaway train. What will happen? Where will it end up? Nobody knows. is forced to crash land and I'm hanging on by a thread. While Bruce and Manabu race to save my life, some of the other platoons engage the Alfred Destroyer in battle. Looks like the war has begun. See you next time on the railways. Oh, oh, oh. 
system's in shock. Luis! David, what's the status on the engines? The main engine is down, Captain. Backup engine is still online. Keep that engine running. We have to avoid crashing at all costs. Manabu, start scanning the topography of the planet. Find a place for an emergency landing. Right! Captain! System failure! Well, fix it! Now! Somebody figure out what the hell's going on! We're approaching the atmosphere. Bring the backup engine to full power and keep the train as level as possible. Yes, sir. Yuki, use this. I'm adjusting the entry angle. Three degrees. Glad I brought spare pants. We need to get Luis to the medical coach, quick. <sighs> Luis! <sighs> Manabu! <sighs> Just leave her be! What? We're facing a galactic emergency here. First things first, get me the coordinates of the dimension hole off that chip. I want you two to get the communication and radar systems up and running again. Contact HQ as soon as the systems are up. And get me the Supreme Commander. Excuse me, are you saying we can't try to save our own shipmate? Do you realize that there are hundreds of millions of lives at stake? Every second is critical. Now do we finally understand each other? All too well, General. In her condition, she wouldn't have made it anyway. She'll be decorated for dying in the line of duty. What's your problem? Do as you're told or I'll have you detained. That's it. You've gone too far, General. <laughs> that man is guilty of treason. Put the gun down! I'll put it down when you obey my orders. I will not tolerate mutinous behavior on my... Manabu, Bruce, take Louise to the medical coach right now. Yuki, please do your very best for her. Yes, yes sir. Bulge, what's the meaning of this? I'll take full responsibility, sir. General, will you please remove your foot? My foot? She lost her life for us. I can't let her courageous death be in vain. Nor can I just let one of my crew die. They risk their lives out here every day, and it's my job to get them home alive. But you are right, General. Sacrifices must be made, but we should make them, not our subordinates. <laughs> That's right. How could I forget? Now I know where you get it from. Your captain died making a sacrificial attack to save his crew. Well, your captain got it backwards. The leaders are the ones who are supposed to survive. What was his name? Wataru Yuuki? That's right. What an idiot he was. Vega Regal and a Crux Platoons have been deployed, Commander. All have been fully equipped with a complement of first-class weapons. They are now leaving the atmosphere and will reach the warp zone leading to Kowloon in two minutes. What's the status on Big One's ID signal? We're still not picking it up, sir. They've got to be out there somewhere. Keep trying to reach them on all channels. Brad, have Spica Platoon standing by and ready for takeoff. On it, sir. 
Something is approaching. No, it's not. It's always been very close to us. But I can't see it. I don't know what it is. What's wrong? What is this force that's blocking our vision? If I don't perform surgery on her within two hours, I'm going to lose her. But I don't have enough blood to operate. Even my basic suture instruments were destroyed in the attack. Let's take her to a hospital. I'm afraid that's not possible. She's too weak to transport. There's no way that she'd survive the trip. I can give Luis some of my blood. Can you look up our blood types and see if we're compatible? I already have. None of you have the right blood type. Let's go, Manabu. Bruce, wait. I haven't checked you out yet. We've got to find a hospital. Right. Yuki, we'll bring what you need. But what about your injury? You said that you were hit. It's just a bruise. Luis, hold on. Just be ready for anything, Yuuki. She won't die. She's gonna make it. I know she will. It's what Liffle said that I'm worried about. I believe that she was telling us the truth. Which means that this is the biggest case in the history of the SDF. If we don't prevent these invaders from taking over our galaxy, then there'll be no stopping them. The fate of the entire universe is in the balance. You're right, Bruce. This is it. Stay loose. We'll take it one step at a time. Ah, stop it! Let go of me! Girlie, it's not so bad. Ah, <laughs> come on, please! Let me out! It's all right. Leave me alone! It's all right, baby. Come back! Please, help me! Why today? Manabu, I'm there! Help oh, me! What are you guys doing way out here? Yeah, man, what gives? This is messed up. We're setting up a new base out here. This is our territory now. You guys had better behave. What a base. Isn't that nice? Man, this stinks. Thanks, you guys. I don't know what to say. You could say that you won't hitchhike on deserted roads anymore, for one. Sorry. You would have been sorry if we hadn't shown up stupid. Don't you call me that. Okay, if you promise to use your brain, I won't call you stupid. Just forget about it. We're in a hurry. Bruce? Are you all right? Yeah. I'm fine. Aren't you driving a little fast? It's an emergency. We're trying to save our friend's life. What? Are you serious? We're running out of time. That's the last one. Luis, I'm sorry. Where is... <sighs> Captain, I'm having difficulty analyzing the Cosmo Matrix. The equipment that we have on board Big One isn't going to cut it, sir. We'll have to get it back to headquarters and put our top scientists on it. Thanks, David. No problem, sir. Oh, good. At least something's going right. We're in the Sutherland Planetary System. Talk about your warp slingshot. Sirius Platoon, this is Galaxy Railway's headquarters. Please come in. Sirius Platoon, please respond. This is the SDF Series Platoon responding from Big One. Come in, Headquarters. Oh, thank goodness! You're alive! Amen to that. We crashed on the fourth planet in the Sutherland system. We'll send a rescue team. Sounds good. Also, discontinue all railway lines in the Kowloon area. There's a big destroyer out there. 
And it means business. Not for long. Vega, Regal, and a Crooks platoons are on their way there with a full complement of first-class weapons. Withdraw! Pull them back! Take your positions. Prepare for battle. If they make one wrong move, attack them with everything we've got. Yes, sir, Captain. Responding. That does it. Maras, get out of there! Withdraw! Is that you, Bulge? Yes! Get out of there, Maras! We can't beat them with the weapons we have! They just shot down my old platoon! You know I can't run away, Bulge. I'll ram the Iron Burger right down their throat if I have to. Maras, get out of there or you're all dead! Their ship is disappearing! No way! How the hell did they do that? <sighs> Don't worry, we'll be there in no time. This is the last one. Got it. What's the matter? Hey, you're bleeding. It's nothing. What are you doing? You Uki, you too. That looks like a gunshot. Ivanov, he got you. <laughs> Ricochet's only count in horseshoes. No, wait, that's not the saying. Why didn't you say something? Yuki could have treated you. Yuki had all that she could handle. Luis's wound is much more serious than mine, and that's all there is to it. You could die, Bruce. Don't get all emotional on me. You've got to be tougher than that, Yuki. Don't be an idiot. <laughs> Use your brain and get some treatment. This is a hospital, after all. your help, Doctor. Don't be silly. All I did was watch. I was very impressed with your skills, Yuki. Thank you. You should go stay with Luis. Oh, yes, sir. We just got word that your friend is doing just fine. Well, that's good news. Thank you. Luis is a great girl. My goodness. Look at that body. Now that's just pitiful. Why do you say that? I feel fine. It's not your conditioning. You're in great shape. It's all the scars. Did they use you for target practice, or what? I started young. For as long as I can remember, I did something similar to mercenary soldier work to survive. The only thing these hands have ever held are guns. And this. I see. It looks like it's seen plenty of action. <laughs> is it your good luck charm? <laughs> I suppose it is. Bruce, the doctor prescribed three days of bed rest. 
He informed the SDF your friends will be back for you. Uh, just a second, nurse. Sorry for calling you stupid earlier. You're very good at what you do. <laughs> Apology accepted, Bruce. I'm sorry I called you an idiot. Big one is connected and ready for tow. We're taking off. Captain, wait. Hey, Bruce, the doctor said that you would be laid up for at least three days. What's going on there, partner? Early discharge. It's just a scratch. I'm on my way. Hang tight. Thought you could leave without saying goodbye? Painkillers and antibiotics. Take as prescribed. Thanks for the help. Now we're even. Can you play your harmonica for me next time we meet? It'll cost you. I'll let you take me out. How's that? Never mind. I can't. I forgot. What? You're married? No. I can't play it because it's broken. It was killed in the line of duty, but not before it saved my life. You're right, it is my good luck charm. Well, what do you know? See you later. Uh, oh, well, do you think we'll see each other again, or what? If you're a good girl. Uh. Hey, stop treating me like a little kid! I'll be damned to beat OT. Don't thank me. We're shipmates, remember? Right. Well, I guess we're more than just shipmates. Uh, it seems like we've all become family now, you know? Hey, Louise. Whatever you do, don't tell Bruce I said that, okay? Why not? You two get along great now. I know, but he'll still laugh at me about it. He really admires you, you know. Bruce? Yeah. Well, it goes both ways. I admire him too. So many times death comes unexpected, like a thief in the night, unwanted and unannounced. Another soul has passed into the unknown with no one to keep him company and nothing to soothe him, save the love of his friends who seemed like they were an eternity away. Kibo.
と旅立つ。さあ目覚めく銀河の光はいざなうこの胸にある愛しき人へ。Losing one of our good friends hurts more than I could have imagined, but the trouble doesn't end there. Captain Bulge has to face the iron wrath of General Ivanov while the threat of an alien invasion looms over our heads. We're gonna miss you, Bruce. See you next time on the railways. What's up? Sorry for the very long delay. Um, I got grounded or whatever, so you know. The life of being a child. Yeah. Anyways, I want to say thank you for watching. Thank you for, you know, thank you for helping me hit over a hundred subscribers. Really appreciate that. If you're watching this and you're not subscribed, what are you doing right now? Please subscribe. Hit that bell. All notifications. Like this video, I don't usually ask for subs, so you know, yeah, I don't really like doing asking for stuff, so you know, likes, you know. All right, bye. See you guys next time. Peace.